Hello everyone, this is Chris with WatchMojo.com. Now, I just had the pleasure of sitting down and having a really interesting interview with upcoming new artists. His name is Andrew Jones. Now, Andrew Jones considers himself to be a shape sifter. What does that exactly mean? Let's go find out. I basically sift through shapes until I find a certain amount of shapes that resonate with me that I believe will resonate with you and resonate with other people to create images. People seem to, to, to have an affinity for the work you do on what seems to be a modified Wacom tablet. I call it a divine instrument of manifestation and creation. The way it works, it hooks up the USB cord to my laptop. I've attached a couple industrial C-clamps to this thing. I've programmed my buttons into it. What I've been doing with this is concentrating my shape sifting in the realm of life painting. And so what I've been doing is I've been meeting and hooking up with really amazing underground DJs and electronic musicians and I perform with them and I felt that well what I could do would be the digital painting that I've been doing for a decade but to take that and to project what I was doing and make a piece of artwork throughout the duration of their set every night. Yeah, after a couple of shows I was totally sold and it kept evolving. I can create without any hands. That's the rock and roll Wacom. The main software that I use is a program called Painter X. It's made by the Corel Corporation. As a digital artist, there are different options available. A lot of people paint in Photoshop. I have always had an attraction towards Corel. It's been passed from developer to developer over the years, and so it has this built-up resonance of code from different programmers. And there's different brushes and different tools I use that almost leverage the chaos in the program to create new shapes that I've never done before. As a shape sifter, I just get turned on by shapes. What I really want is for the tool to really fade away. When I'm looking at the screen or I'm looking at the projection, I want to forget that I have a hand. That's what really works it for me. So I'm just looking straight at something and it's just my imagination making this happen. Those are the moments I go for. It's like an out-of-body creative experience. The best drug there is, it sounds like that. Yeah, yeah, it's beyond drugs. Right. It's, it's, yeah, it's real.